Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create the urban gray look or how to do the urban gray color grading in Premiere Pro. Coming up. And before we go any further, please hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing and consider sharing this video with others. In order to create the urban gray color grading or in order to do the urban color grading look in Premiere Pro, just launch the Premiere Pro and then you need to go to the Lumetri Colors panel, which is right over here. And if it is not shown, just go to the windows and select Lumetri Colors and that way this would be visible over here so in order to get this look you have to have the lumetri colors panel otherwise it's not going to work all right all right so first of all we'll apply this or we'll do the color grading on this clip right over here so you need to go to the metric colors panel and inside the curves just open this and inside it you will see the hue versus saturation curves and over here just make a point right over here where this yellow color is so create one point right over here and create the second point on the middle of the red and then one point right over here on the purple color and thereafter just click and drag this curve right on the bottom and this one as well just drag it down and then we need to create one more point right over here on the orange side because skin is on the side basically we want the skin to have the saturation and everything else should not have the saturation so we can even drag it something like this to cover more of the red and the orange so the skin tone is between these two colors so we'll just select this one so we'll keep the saturation of these this color from this to this as it is and we'll lower down the saturation of rest of the colors so that way you can see the entire color curve is down so that means there would be no saturation so if we just look at our clip so you can see this is how our clip looks and if we just uncheck it this is how it looks and this is after the urban gray color grading and right now you can even do one more thing inside the first RGB curve you can create one point in the midtone so basically these are the highlights these are the midtones and these are the shadows so let's create one point for the shadows one point for the highlight so now we'll just add the darkness or the contrast to the shadows so for that purpose we'll just drag this curve down something like this so you can see we have made it little darker and if you want you can even darken the midtone a little bit something like this so that this becomes a smooth curve okay so if you just play it, you can see this is how it looks. If you uncheck this, this is before and this is after, okay? So we have made it little darker and thereafter, we'll just come down over here in the vignette option. So this is the vignette option, just click on this and over here we have the amount. So how much vignette you want. So if you just increase to the right hand side it's going to make the corners bright and if we drag it to the left side it's going to make the corners darker and then we have the midpoint so we can adjust the midpoint so this is the midpoint so we can adjust it so let me show you clearly so this is the midpoint so we can adjust it the way we want it but i'll go for the default one and then we have the roundness so we can adjust whether we want this shape or inside this as a round or the square and then we have the feather option so if we drag it to the left side so it's going to have no feather which looks awkward and if we drag it to the right hand side it's going to have more feather but 50 percent is just fine which is the default one all right so let me have the vignette amount something like this minus 1.3 is fine for this clip because this would differ from clip to clip right 
so you can see it and if we just play it you can see this looks just amazing and if we just disable it so this was before and this is after all right so now we can save this as a preset as well and use it later on for any clip so for that purpose we need to go to the effects control so this is the effect control and inside it you will see this numeric color effects so right click and select save preset and i'm going to call it urban gray dark okay and i'm going to rename it as my name art and press ok if you want to you can download this preset as well absolutely free from the link in the description section below all right so now if we want to suppose apply this over here so let's see how it works on this clip so for this purpose we'll go to the effects panel and over here we'll search for the urban urban gray so i have created the urban gray earlier one that one doesn't have the darkness so if i just drag it over here let's see how it looks so this looks little weird right over here because of this color so let me just create drag the second one which we have just created so this one also looks weird all right so this is not going to work for every clip so this is not working on this clip so we'll just ignore it and let, let's apply this right over here on this so we'll just drop this preset on this clip and boom this looks just amazing After downloading the Urban Dark Gray presets and LUTs pack, you will get a GIF file something like this. And first of all, you need to extract this using any unzip software like WinRR or 7zip. So I'm using the WinRR in this case. Right click and select Extract to Urban Gray LUTs presets pack, and then you will get all of these five files. So so you will get these files. So one, two, three, four. So these are the four LUTs pack and one is a preset pack which works only for the Premiere Pro. All right. So let me tell you now how to use it and install these presets. So in this case, I'm using the Premiere Pro and you can use the LUTs for any program, be it After Effects, the WinSeries all Final Cut Pro or the Apple Motion because all suppose the LUTs presets. So you can use them and color grade your video clips very quickly. All right. Thereafter, you have to launch the Premiere Pro and go to the effects panel. So inside the effects panel, you will see this preset folder. Just right click and select the import presets and browse the this preset folder where you have uh, downloaded this pack and you will see only one file because this is only the supported by the Premiere Pro. All right. So make sure that you have the Premiere Pro. 2019 and above to make it work otherwise it's not going to work and thereafter press the open and that way this preset pack would be available right over here inside this folder if you go at the bottom you will see this pack all right so so you will see these four presets so if you just click over here you can see the preview right over here so now let me show you how to use this on any of the clips so first of all please be noted that this preset pack will not work for each and every kind of a footage because every clip is different but it works for most of the clips all right so let me first drag the first one that is the uh gray this is the gray for red hue so i'm just going to drop it over here and boom you can see the preview this is how it looks and uh, this was before and this is after all right so let me show you the second one this is the urban dark gray and drop it over here you can see this gives you something like this so all have the small different variations now let's try the third one and third one doesn't work properly on this footage you can see so we'll just undo this and let's drag the 
fourth one and fourth one is little dark now right so this is the faded one urban dark gray faded so let me show you the one by one so this is before and this is first and this is the second and this is the third one all right so now let's try this on this footage so let me just copy all of these and paste it over these clips okay so let me turn on one by one so this is the first one so first one makes it something like this and this was before and this is after all right so now let's try the second one so second one looks like this and this is the before and this is after now let's try the third one so this is the faded one and this looks something like this all right so now let's try this on the this footage so the first one looks something like this this is before and this is after now let's try the second one this is the before and after this is the second one and this is the third one all right so now let's try this on this video footage so this is the first one and this was before and this is after all right so now let's try the second one so this is the second one and this was before and this is after now let's try the third one so what i'm doing i'm just clicking on the fx icon so if you see this cut line or this line that means this is disabled and if you just check this that is enabled all right so this is the third one okay so this is how you can use this presets pack for the premiere pro and now let me show you how to use the LUTs pack so for this purpose you have to go to the telemetry colors panel right over here and inside the creative there is an option of look so just click and the browse first of all we need to add the telemetry colors effect but if you don't up if you haven't applied any of these pieces then you won't see this option you don't need to add the telemetry colors and thereafter in the creative panels just click on the browse and browse the LUT files or the downloaded folder so inside it you will see these four first one so let me just select the first one this is the faded one and press open and you will see the immediate effect of this so you can even control the intensity of this if you don't want that much of effect you can lower down its its effect or you can just increase its effect so you can adjust everything accordingly with this one so now let's try the second one so that's the urban gray rare for red hue and press open and this looks something like this okay and if i disable it so that was before and this is after so now let's try the third one so third one looks something like this so again you can adjust its intensity okay and similarly let's browse the fourth one so this one looks something like this okay so this is how you can use these pieces pack for the premiere pro and the method is almost the same for the after effects the vinci resolve final cut pro and the apple motion because all of these suppose the luts pack so let's file so just you need to browse the luts file and just use these so please do download this this is absolutely free for the limited time download it and do leave the feedback for this pack so thank you so much i hope you found this video useful if you did hit the like button if you have any question or if you want to say something leave that in the comment section below and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing for more amazing tips tricks and tutorials so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next video till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you Bye-bye.